Hey, hey, Test Man here. And of course, first things first, we got to talk about, as you can see, I got the OTC shirt here, the original Tribal Chief. So we're going to talk about some bad blood, uh, the return of the rock. Um, of course, this is the quote unquote review of bad blood uh, um, and what happened uh, through, through my, and my, my opinions on how Bad Blood was this weekend, um, over the weekend, I watched Bad Blood, uh, a great PLE, uh, this is a WWE topic, wrestling, so those looking for football, give me a minute, we're going to talk some football later, uh, uh, we'll get the coach out here and he'll talk about how we had a great week, uh, it seems that video is starting to be a little bit more popularized as, as, as the fantasy team is doing well. Uh, also want to get off the table. Uh, I apologize for no videos last week. I was sicker than a dog. If you watched my, uh, sorry for the ambulance noise. I live by a fire, fire station. So, uh, you're going to hear that from time to time. Uh, but, uh, uh, la last week's video where I talked about Pete Rose. If you saw me, uh, you could, uh, tell that I looked pretty bad, um, I was sick and, and it got worse throughout the weekend, a week, and I couldn't make any other videos. I was there. But back, I'm back in the saddle again. Uh, uh, I, I'm back with my dog, it's in the hunt. We are, are going uh, to talk about Bad Blood, but the Bad Blood 2024. Here we go. So, of course, the, the first match of the night. Boy, I'll tell you what, those, it, it, it is, you see a smile on my face because you know I got a CM Punk t-shirt. Um, I got Randy Orton shirt. I got the old 2 c now. And uh, just to show you uh, right here, these are birthday gifts, or these two shirts are birthday gifts. Here's the second one. I got me a Jacob Fatu t-shirt. Check this out. Check that bad boy out. Look at that. Got the werewolf right there. So... We got the t-shirts, got gifts, birthdays coming up, having gonna have a great weekend. Let's get into this. We're getting sidetracked and we want to talk about bad blood. Um, the first match, CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre Drew McIntyre. Hell and I said I, you just have to do it as much as no one wants to talk about that man. Uh that was that's why uh, that's that's how you you pronounce it. That's you know uh, a little bit of the attitude error going there. Uh, uh, but um, it was great to see Bad Blood return with a Hell in a Cell match too. So and if you were looking for a like like the announcer said, if you were looking for a five star tactical battle, you that was not your match. There was blood and guts there, and I hate to take that from someone else that I don't like watch. But uh, both men were busted open. Uh, they they put their bodies online. They beat the crap out of each other. You could tell that it it, it was like how our, our great Triple H said that at that point with the rivalry that's going on between Drew McIntyre and CM Punk. Where do you end it? You, you, you like in the, the early days, you put it in a cell and or in a cage. Usually, that match would end in a cage match. Uh, uh, it was a cage match, but it was a hell in a cell match. So, uh, in the early days, hate to get little uh, get get a little history on you, but back in the day, territory days, once a feud got that hot, it would end in a cell a cage match. That way, no one could escape, no one could enter. They beat the crap out of each other in a cage. Uh, there was a lot of blood then. Uh, to, to say that there was no blood in the territory days, that's a big, that's a big uh, false advertisement there. There was a lots of blood in, the, uh, in the, the, the territory days. There's lots of blood in the Attitude Era. Uh, and so blood is, it's a, I hate to say it, but it is a staple, a history of wrestling. Um, of course, they didn't do it like how they do it today, like especially if you watch AEW wrestling, they bleed all the time. WWE does not rarely, don't rarely use blood in a match, unless it's a PLE. Uh, that might also have to do with the fact that they're still on, or their, their, their network won't allow them to do that, which is fine. But, <clears throat> of course, in this, uh, in my opinion, I think this might be the only match with blood, but blood would need to apply here. Um, 
<clears throat> both men said that they were going to make their opponents bleed. They did that. Uh, CM Punk got the win. Uh, it was a great. That was a great match. A great starting match. A great opening match to Bad Blood. And like I said, it's great to see Bad Blood back. Um, looking forward to it coming back as a regular PLE. Hopefully next year they'll you know come up my way. Uh, We'll love to buy the ticket and uh, and saw that. So, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know, hey, over in Ohio, you know, you got Columbus, you got Cincinnati, you got Cleveland. Pick your pick. Uh, come on. Uh, I'll go. I'll go anywhere uh, as long as it's in the three states of Pennsylvania, Indianapolis, or Indiana, Pennsylvania, uh, Kentucky, Michigan, somewhere around me. I can go, <laughs> you know, I, I, just giving you hints of states I can enter. I, I'm not a flyer. I'm a driver. So, uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> but that was a, a pretty good match. I, I like the matchup. Next came, I do believe it was Nia Jax versus uh, uh, Bailey, and that was a match I kind of went to the bathroom on. Uh I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of Nia Jax. They did, they had a, a decent match, uh, a match worthy of that, uh, you know, of their performance. They had a great, a, a decent match. It was Nia Jax got the win thanks to Tiffany Stratton interfering. Uh, I have opinions of triple, Tiffany Strat that I can't share here on YouTube. Uh, I don't want to be um, <clears throat> uh, canceled. So I, I I will leave those opinions in the in in the closet, right right right. Oh, uh, Steve, Steve, Steve said, yeah, you probably not say what you say to me every time when you watch that. All right, Steve, I will keep that to myself then. I I do listen to my co-host from time to time. I mean, then again, you all might just think I'm crazy as hell for talking to a, a a a poster of Steve Young. I might be, but once again, uh. A good match. Um, I'm not a star reviewer. I don't throw stars out. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Uh, and then Jill uh, uses the, the the weapon at the end of the game. Sorry for spoiling a game that's probably 30 years old. <clears throat> Which also has been remade. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, next after that, I do believe they had... Which match did they have after that? They... they because I know they didn't have any uh, any tag matches. Uh, they didn't have the Intercontinental Champion or the U.S. title there. I think that, that another feud match was in. Uh, did they go? That it was Damian Priest and Finn Bal Finn Balor. Damian Priest and Finn Balor. That was uh, uh, the next match on the card. Uh, of course, this is a Judgment Day versus former Judgment Day uh, menu uh, 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 member. As it was. Um, uh, Finn B Balor and Damian Priest, two former tag team partners, two former best friends. <clears throat> Finn uh, was looking to, I guess, stab Damian Priest in the back again. Of course, it all imploded at SummerSlam, which I was there. I saw. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was Damian Priest who got the win. I loved seeing him, his homage to Razor Ramon with the Razor's Edge all the time. It was good to see uh, Damian Priest get the win with the the, the his choke slam, uh, but hey, it was a, it was pretty decent. Both men had a great match, it, it, and uh, it was one of those matches you know you gotta see. It was one of those technical matches, your quote unquote five star matches you want to see. I mean, me, I'm not all about the stars, so I, I, all I'm looking forward to in a match is the stories, and uh, and the storyline was there. Uh, of course, with with how it was uh, about two guys who they, I, I believe, and this is probably just my opinion, that both men felt like they stabbed each the other one stabbed each other in the back. Ben felt like Damian Priest stabbed him in the back when he was uh, with the going after the world title versus Seth Rollins, and I mean both are valid arguments. Both have valid validations to this argument. Because Finn did screw Damian Priest over the world title to Gunther. 
However, Damian Priest did kind of screw Finn Fowler over the world title when he was facing Seth Rollins. So that that clash right there happened. Now this is this is a this this is a long draw, drawn out storyline, but if that's that is a great story to tell. That was like the CM Punk match versus Drew McIntyre. If you have been following the feud between Drew McIntyre and CM Punk, you knew it was going to implode in Hell in a Cell. We just got to know where Drew Ma where uh, Finn Balor and uh, Damian Priest's rivalry will go to from now here. Because now we have Damian Priest got one up on Finn. Um, of course, Finn's going to have to come back. Uh, I know this feud is not over. I expect to see more through, uh, you know, uh, the further down the line. Uh, next was, uh, of course, they rolled it around and it, they did the uh, Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan uh, <clears throat> match for what uh, is it for the women's title or was it for da for, was it for Dominic? Because they put Dominic in a cage and hosted him up, but the world title was on the line. I think the women's world title was on the line. Um. Um. This storyline's a little. I understand that storyline too. It, it's Rhea getting back at Liv Morgan for everything Liv Morgan has done so far. But Liv Morgan it, it has blamed Rhea Ripley for everything that happened to her. And she felt like her revenge tour is uh, by stealing Dom and stealing her title and stealing her Judgment Day. It's getting back at, at Rhea. Back and forth. What a drama. You know, hey, it, it, it's, it's, that, it's got more of that soap opera feel that wrestling is kind of like so uh but uh it, <laughs> Rhea kind of distracted herself by getting a uh by getting a uh, kendo stick and beating Dominic like uh, a, a pinata uh but that kind of cost her the match uh, quote quote unquote and Ra Raquel I can't say her name properly but Ra Rodriguez came back uh, too and when she did uh, it kind of interfered in the match uh, they they rang the bell technically it was a disqualification Liv keeps the title belt and she keeps Dominic I, I think I think that's how it works I don't know if that was Dominic on the line here I I don't know <laughs> oh boy what what are we gonna do I have Dominic on a pole match next like you know he's hanging up yeah okay Oh boy. Um, but last not least is let's get to the main event. That's what we're all here for. Of course, the OTC was there. Yeah. Um, it was. It was great because this was this is what I was thinking. Now they can do this at any point, and I know that they they homage to this in the commentary. Okay, so once again, history lesson. In the same building. In 1980, Dusty Rhodes and Ole Anderson, two guys who were rivals, bitter enemies, they came together, all right, and they came together to take on the Assassins. They had three matches. I believe they won one and the Assassins won one, and it was going to end, they were going to end it in a cage match. And Dusty, and this is, this is from Ole's mouth. And uh, Dusty, Dusty agreed to this. Oh, he said, I got a great idea, Dusty. What about a cage? We could keep those assassins in and they can't get out. So Ole Anderson talked Dusty into having a cage match with the assassins. Okay? Now, Dusty Rhodes is Cody Rhodes' father. So this, this, this uh, uh, now, like I said, I'm explaining this as best as my knowledge can be. Dusty started it up. He's getting heat. They're getting heat on Dusty. Uh, the, they're building to the hot tag to Ole from Dusty. Okay. Uh, finally, after after uh, after punishment and and grit and determination, the hot tag gets to Ole. Ole jumps in. He looks at the assassins. Then he turns and he starts wailing on Dusty. Uh, the turn of eighty, as it's called, in the op. And that technically in that exact same building. Well, it's a little different because they uh, they, they they've got it now the AT and T Center, but and they they 
I think they break Dusty's, quote unquote, break Dusty's leg. Uh, it takes all the baby faces to get there um, to save Dusty, but the, the damage had been done. Uh, they were in a steel cage, and when they all got out, the, the, the crowd wailed on them. Uh, <laughs> uh, they kind of rioted there. Uh, they probably would have rioted it if this would have happened in this match here, too. But they gave you that little tease. And I, I'm sorry about giving you another historical event. But they gave you that tease that Roman Reigns could turn on Cody Rhodes like Ole turned on Dusty. And that's where this story comes in. Because well, that was also in my back of my mind. When is Roman going to turn? When is Roman going to turn? When is Roman going to turn? Uh... And, and it would make sense because both Jacob Batu and Solo Sokoa are technically blood member families of Roman Reigns. So it would make sense for Roman to turn on Cody Rhodes. So in the back of my mind, is this where he's going to turn? Is this when he's going to turn? But, 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 in the end, uh, that, that didn't happen. It could happen down the line. What Somebody's going to turn on Cody. It's either going to be Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, or Roman Reigns. It might be all three of them. They all might three turn on Cody at some point. Um, and Roman's top of the list. I know Randy is there too. Although Randy gave his word to Cody. I've got your back no matter what. Uh, but then again, he is the Viper. Uh, so... <laughs> uh, you know, don't trust the snake, okay? Uh, but uh, for Cody to do what he did in the match, uh, I liked how he was like, okay, I'm going to take care of Jacob for two. He gets up off the top rope, gives the salute to the Roman, does a dive onto the table, onto Jacob for two. Uh, uh, Roman Reigns gets the win. Uh, the spear to, uh, well, of course, the Tongas come out to save it. And then Jimmy shows up out of nowhere. Uh, and, uh, and and then Roman hits the spear on Solo. And we, one, two, three, winner. Uh, Roman and, uh, and Jimmy go back to, about to go back to the locker room. Because Jimmy and, uh, and Roman get a big hug. And the crowd pop. And then they're going to go back. And and then Roman Roman sees that Cody's getting attacked by the bloodline, and Roman's like, and Jimmy's like, "What do you want to do? You gave the man his word. I'm with you." Uh, and he was like, "All right, let's do it. Let's go." So Roman goes back with Jimmy. They 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 clear the bloodline out, and then you hear the Rock's music play. The Rock comes out. The final boss music. Uh, a big pop to the Rock coming out. And uh, Rock puts up a one, and then he puts up two, and he puts up three, and then he does this little thing, and then he goes out, 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 he leaves. Thanks for coming, Rocky. There's that million dollars. Thank you. Yeah, you showed up. Yay. We got, we got that million dollar paycheck just for you to play your music, walk out to the stage, do some hand gestures, and then turn around. There's no running down to the ring. There's no, here's a microphone, let's talk. It's just, hi, I'm here. Like, okay, all right. Now, I, I could say, you, you, I understand it was the end of the event and, you know, there's not a lot, a lot of time left for him to do anything. He could have cut a little small promo, but then again, it's The Rock, you know. He's good with, he's gonna cut a promo. You know, how, you don't know how long it's gonna take. You know, it's the Rock. Um, but it was good to see the Rock show up at, at Bad Blood. It's good to see. You know what would have been great? Uh, this is just might be me, if the glass shattered and Austin came out there. Let's say Rock's music hit. All right, Rock stands on the thing. Then the glass shatters. Austin comes out. Hit the stunner on the rock on the entrance and then turns around and walks back out. Oh boy. But but I want this match so badly. I, I will talk about this this dream match of mine. The last, last, last one. Cause oh Austin 
technically right out in the sunset, but Rock got the win. And boy, would I would love to see another WrestleMania, uh, Rocky versus Austin, one more time. I know these guys got one more match in them. Uh, it's a dream match. It, uh, it, it would be great to see them at another WrestleMania, doing it for one more time. Um, it will never happen, not in a million years, but then they say never say never. I would love to see Rock and Austin, one more WrestleMania. Come on, Triple H, you've got the power. You can do it. I'm begging you. I'm a shareholder here. Make the match happen. Whatever you got to do. Rock and Austin, one more time. And maybe it's just, maybe it, it might look like the craps. You know, it might look bad now. But boy, just it, it, this, let this boy's childhood dream come back alive one more time. I, I mean, I have seen the trilogy of Rock and Austin. I would love to see what's one more, one more match. One more. That's all I want is one more match. But for me, that is blood. That was bad blood. I enjoyed the show. I had fun. And yeah, that's that's what it is. It's entertainment. Uh, let me know how you feel uh, or how you've seen the show. Uh, I, what what do you think of the show? If you give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, you know. Either or, I'm giving it two thumbs up because that's a good that's a good thing. That you know, there there we go. I got the thumbs up. I'll give it the classic rating, two thumbs up. Uh, from uh, that was uh, whatever they were, the, the 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 movie reviewers, two thumbs up. There we go. That that's why I think of Bad Blood. You get the two thumbs up. Um, <clears throat> but uh, uh, let me know in the comment section below how you've seen the show or how you feel about the show. Uh, if you liked the show, if you didn't like the show, what was wrong with the show, what was right with the show, or what match you didn't care for, what match you you did care for. Uh, just put your stuff, but uh, just write stuff down in the comment section. Uh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Tice man, he's out of here.